All right, uh, did another uh, fuel soak test with fuel lines, although this time I want to do much more in depth. <clears throat> I have, this here was from my recent video where I did gasoline additives, it's the Enzyme, which is this container here. That's only been since the 30th of January, but these other eight here have been since the 2nd of January, 60 days. These four here are non-ethanol fuel. This one's aftermarket. This is regular E10 gas, 87 octane, E30, E50, E85. Today I'm going to toss them out on the table. We'll look at we'll look at uh, how varnished they are, and then I'll put them up here on my uh, blackboard here with a nail and a weight. See how much of them are damaged. Before I crack into them, I'll put my <clears throat> paper behind them so you can get a look at the color difference. The color difference between regular gas and non-oxy is quite a bit different, especially with this aftermarket one here. <clears throat> the formulations for non-oxy or non-ethanol and regular gas is much, much different. That's very apparent and was very apparent in my burn video. So, I'm going to <clears throat> open all these up. I'll lay a few lines out here. See how they are varnished. These are all non ethanol fuel lines. I wanted to include many non ethanol fuels to see how much different was between them. That's a nice thing about mid-level blends and E85. You know what ethanol is. In today's modern gasoline, the common people have absolutely no idea how many harmful additives are found in gas. That's the last non-ethanol there. Now we're getting the regular gasoline. E30 E50 A fuel line that's never seen fuel. This one here. <coughs> There's not much varnish on these. They're all fairly uniform. But the ethanol ones definitely do look quite clean. The regular one here looks a little bit varnished. But. <coughs> Alright. We'll uh, step away from the camera and I'll get them clamped up here and uh, I'll get back I'll get back on when I get them clamped and we'll put some weights on them. So. Alright, we are uh, back. I have the fuel lines on the board. <coughs> I, these were stored inside and the first test I have which shows more varnish on non-ethanol fuel and regular gas was stored in a building where sunlight could get in. So I think that has to do something with the varnish, but I really think you're gonna find very interesting what fuels damaged the fuel line and what fuels didn't. So I put all the nails on the fuel lines already. E85, E50, E30, regular. You can already see the non-ethanol fuel nails are actually lower than ethanols. <clears throat> I'm going to drop a washer on each here so that you can see see exactly how much how more defined it is keep in mind this fuel was eight dollars a gallon oh uh, I'm wrong on that eight dollars a quart 
E30, E50, E5, take a look across, see which ones are sagging the most, non-ethanol, once again, damage the fuel line the most, <clears throat> ethanol is far less damaging than a lot of the toxic additives that make up today's gasoline, okay, I would challenge you to find a mechanic that has done this test or has looked into fuel this extensive. Some of these additives, especially in regular gasoline, BTEX, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylene. This is my last fuel soak test. I actually singled these out and soaked them. It was a week and they were like a noodle. They absolutely failed. It was terrible. Uh, this here, I soaked on the end there. It was for a month. And it didn't really do much but a couple things here I want to touch this is the $8 quart fuel and I want to read a couple things on here some claims that it says street gasoline contains ethanol which forms deposits and degrades fuel systems okay if you watched my first video the E85 silt fuel line was the cleanest and the non-oxy had the most varnish on it so I don't know what deposits they're talking about when they're blaming it on ethanol they also say degrades fuel systems. Why, why did their product was actually the worst? E85, E50, E30 beat it. Okay? Flat out lying to you. <clears throat> Alright, and then this is, a, this is a danger warning on this can. I want, to, I want you to listen very closely to this. Highly flammable liquid and vapor may be fatal if swallowed and enters the airway, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation, harmful if swallowed, may cause drowsiness or dizziness, may cause genetic defects, suspected of damaging fertility or the unborn child, may cause cancer, causes damage to organs, toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Okay, let's, let's think about what ethanol is. It's ethyl alcohol, the same alcohol you drink in alcoholic beverages. Okay, when it comes to spills and human health, ethanol is light years ahead of toxic gasoline. A couple things I want you to check out. My vehicle has a change to E85.com. <clears throat> Conversion kit on it. I think I'm on 6,000 miles with it. I love it. Uh, look for two, uh, E15 pumps for your 2001 and newer. Uh, you get five more percent ethanol, and by this test, the more ethanol you add, the less damage you have. And another thing I want you to check out is uh, Pump the Movie. Borrow this DVD right here from me, or check it out on Netflix. And the last thing I want to uh, tell you, I run a Facebook page with a buddy called Midwest Ethanol Outpost. This is what we do every day. We share this kind of stuff, and it's uh, pretty cool, some of the stuff that's out there that Big Oil tries dearly to hide. So uh, like it, share it, comment, uh, see you next time, check out my YouTube channel, uh, that's all I have for tonight, thank you.